Tough end of the day for Colby Howard. Uh, describe what your day was like up to the contact with the 42 and um, what was your perspective when the 42 came across your nose? Um, yeah, it's just a pretty awful day all around, even yesterday. We had problems with our uh, drive shaft yesterday, had a dent in it, bad vibration, had to change that, didn't get to qualify. Uh, started dead last today and we're working our way up through there. Uh, we were actually pretty decent in the wet when I didn't make any mistakes. Um, and then you know, I spun out like once or twice, so it's coming back up. Um, I'm not too sure what happened with, with the 42. Uh, felt like I was kind of outside and then he jumped up and then I got on the brakes and then we got, or I locked mine up and then got into the back of him and uh, we went to gravel and lost a lap, but um, I'm not sure. It's, it's in the rain, you can't, I don't really want to necessarily blame him. I'm not the biggest fan of him, but he did jump up in front of me. Um, it's just how he drives, I guess, I'm not sure. Going on to Pocono in two weeks time, uh, kind of a different beast in of itself. You know, they call it part oval, part road course. Well, what do you expect to happen there? Do you expect um, a lot of chaos? Do you expect it to be um, kind of calm? What's your... Uh, it's a truck series, a lot of idiots out there. So it's gonna be pretty chaotic. Um, I just want to finish practice. I want to finish qualifying. And I want to finish the race. That's all I really care about going to Pocono. I'm to be honest with you. Like, it's, been a really bad year this year I just won't finish this. what up it's Brad Perez uh, click subscribe and watch one of the two videos right beside me visit frontstretch.com for more racing content